<clears throat> I talk in the morning and as soon as I turn, I hit that live button. Hello, good afternoon. Hello from Chicago. Uh, I, uh, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the 12 political, daily political tarot questions here at, on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much. Uh, I am here every single day of the year to take your 12 questions at 12 o'clock and uh, just put them in the chat in all caps. Anything in all caps is how you, in the chat, is how you communicate with me. And other than that, just please type normally. Uh, people have whole conversations and they're really kind to each other and supportive. So it's it's better that I, I know kind of what's aimed at me and people, you know, having their conversations, hanging out. And also, uh, if you're down in the comments, just type normally. So, okay. 10% uh, of all income that comes into the channel goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. We have epic troll slayers. Thank you. You keep us safe and you make this possible. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Lanot. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you, you guys like the colors. I thought it would be fun. I have I have uh, your questions for today. Matter of fact, I brought a couple of my own. So I've got a total of 13 already. So... Um, it's um, first come, first serve. And if I don't read on your question, it is never anything personal. I promise. I promise. If you're watching this on replay, hello, you can go down in the description box and I timestamp as I go through the questions. So you'll be able to, uh, and then I go back in and I clean everything up. So you'll be able to just click on what you're interested in. Just, oh, I'm interested in this or this or this, and just get what you like, ignore what you're not interested in. It makes it a lot easier. Also makes it easier to, to search the channel for specific topics. If you go to the, just click on the name of the channel, uh, Black and Orange, and uh, on the, the channel page, on just beneath the banner on the right, there's a search function. You can put in a name or a topic. And because all of the videos are timestamped, it'll pull up the ones that, that contain that. Um, have readings on exact not exact thing. You can just go into the timestamping and the description, make it as easy as possible. Uh, B. Smith is asking if I have any plans for next Friday. As it stands right now, I'm still trying to, I don't know, see what I can pull together. Uh, if I continue to show up every day, which I plan on, this coming Friday, next Friday, will uh, the 24th will be my 1,000th video. 1,000 videos on this channel. So that'll be Friday. We'll see, I'll see. I'll see if I, I, I keep forgetting to send out emails and ask anybody if they want to come by or anything like that. But uh, Jolie says, Autumn, you influenced me to investigate astrology. It's extremely interesting. Thanks. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Sandy says, Potluck Friday. There we go. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right, uh, a couple of things uh, right off the bat before we jump in. I'm sorry, Jean, I've got my questions for today, but I'm literally here every single day of the year and it's first come, first serve. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. But literally every single day of the year. I'm, I'm here every weekend, weekday, holiday, your birthday, my birthday, Christmas day, I'm here. My birthday, I'm here. <laughs> Thanksgiving, I'm here. <laughs> so uh, anyway. First of all, I owe, uh, Mandy, I owe you an apology. Yesterday you said, why are you ignoring my question? And I could have sworn we actually, I asked, it, I asked you about that first thing. I did not. That is entirely on me. And I apologize. I apologize. So uh, I haven't seen Mandy here today yet. But uh, if you are here or when you are here next, um, I please let me, please let me make it up to you. Uh, please give me a question. I apologize. Okay. And, uh, okay, so some other things in the chat. One was from Flora. All right. Uh, hello from Australia. She says, I would like to ask for prayers for my brother and my brother-in-law. He was just diagnosed with terminal cancer. Doctor said he won't make it to Christmas. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so absolutely. Uh, for, of course, Flora's brother-in-law. But uh, for, for all of those hurting, all of those who need help, 
just we are all a part of the divine and we don't have to beg or anything we just just ask please divine spirit just fill the world with beautiful divine energy fill up the entire world fill all those who need it just until all the world is overflowing in divine energy just making all of existence glow with divine energy for health for, for happiness for kindness for the betterment of all for comfort for everything good and positive that can possibly be Right, so there's that and uh, bless bless Laura. I I do hope he gets I do hope he gets better okay on to some other things uh hippie sue was saying so did we all get the YouTube video telling us about the next insurrection this morning 5 a.m my time central Canada or was it just me well, what who what Oh, Mandy says I'm here. What was the answer? I knew you would come through. Thanks, you're great. Well, let me see. Did I? I haven't read on it. I, I but I want to. Um, please tell me I made a note. I did not make a note. I'm so sorry. Okay, Mandy, what was your question? Oh, please, oh please. It's it's going to the top of the. It's going to the top of the list. See, I feel so. Ter I feel bad when when I I I if I. Uh, I, I never want to hurt your feelings. That's not why I'm here. And um, so anyway, man, you type it in. I'm answering it. So anyway. Okay, okay. Um, so, Hippie Sue, I have no idea what video you're talking about. So. Um, all right. Let's see here. If anybody sees Mandy's question, please let me know. All right, so I'm going to jump in here with, uh, oh, and we're ending today with just a little bit. I had mentioned yesterday uh, about some astrological stuff, and uh, there were two astrological questions. So the last thing today, the two questions are going to be uh, brief, but I think you'll find them interesting about the astrology of Trump and uh, what's coming up next month and in um, November. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, that month that comes after October, the one I was born in. <laughs> anyway, um, also, there was some, uh, a question about when will things improve uh, in the U.S. But um, yesterday I... I I had said I was going to look up the landslide victory Reagan had in 1984. Why could, why could there be such a landslide in 1984, but we're in, even with how awful the fascism is, how could we be so gridlocked now? And astrologically, there's, there's, there, there's reason for that. So we'll go over that uh, briefly at the end as well. Oh, parliamentarian. Okay. Okay. What did the parliamentarian answer? Yes or no? Okay, that's why um, Elizabeth McDonough, Senate Parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough, is that who we're talking about? Um, because I don't actually know. Um, Okay, that doesn't want to help me. So yes or no on what? Do you, do you have something specific? Okay, what was it? What was it? Okay, Ippy says it was strange. She thanks Powell and Sessions. Who 
she a video about the next election boy am i i am uh, i am so lost i'm so sorry okay uh, yes november identify that's what i meant all right i'm i'm um i'm going to assume you're talking about senate parliamentarian elizabeth mcdenna is my my guess here and you're wondering about her something about reconciliation um is how senate parliamentarian elizabeth will rule on reconciliation okay elizabeth mcdonough Sorry, I'm just trying to grab this. Your questions are very important. Pam, uh, do do I have an email address available? Uh, uh, not, well, I'm still trying to get that sorted out. Um, and for what it's worth, my name is actually, uh, it, it's uh, ends T-I-E-N-E, -E, the, the T-I-A-N in Sebastian. That is the male version of my name. Uh, my, my, my actual name is Sebastian. Uh, but very few people can pronounce it. So <laughs> I just started the channel. I was like, eh, autumn, autumn will work. Judy Byington. Okay, so immigration reform. Why Democrats' hopes rest on a decision by the Senate parliamentarian. From an uh, from a reconciliation. Okay, I'll, some, I'll I'll be able to pull it together eventually here. Congressional Democrats are renewing their push to pass sweeping budget recon uh, sweeping budget reconciliation measure. Senate parliamentarian heard arguments from both parties on Friday about whether immigration legislation should be included uh, in the in proposed three point five trillion dollar package. Democrats hope the parliamentarian will allow a pathway to permanent residents to stay in the bill. Okay. She were. Okay. Happy Sue, I'm afraid I'm, I'm going to have to come back to this because I'm a little confused. It sounds like you got a video and I didn't know who from, and then you mentioned a name that I don't know. So, uh, and I'm juggling a lot right now. So um, I'll come back in um, afterward and try to piece things together and perhaps we can look at it tomorrow. Okay, so this make Donna. Okay. All right, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay, so get this out of the way. And we are starting with Elizabeth McDonough. All right, and everything is down. Uh, thank you, Raquel. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's just very hard for people to, to pronounce properly. It's kind of like the difference between Simon and Simone or Frederick and Frederick. So thank you. So, so yeah, there are a lot of people who call me Sebastian and it's like, not my name, but okay. Or they, they try to call me and Sebastian. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's no A. There's no A. Sebastien, pretend you're French. A, a fake French accent will go a long way to pronounce my name correctly. Sebastien. Anyway. All right. About 15 minutes in, we're going to start looking at some parliamentarian. Actually, 1430. Senate Parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough. So, Senate Parliamentarian heard arguments from both parties on Friday about whether immigration legislation should be included in the proposed $3.5 trillion package. My understanding is 
she does the parliamentarians don't generally like including stuff like this in a budget resolution but any chance Open my energy up. Elizabeth McDonough. Any chance we can help some of these poor people trapped in immigration limbo? Will the parliamentarian allow immigration, really some immigration reform? Judgment. Uh, that she's definitely passing judgment from on high. That's absolutely what's happening. Okay. Whoops. Oh, ten of swords. Hanged man. I'm not liking this so far. This is where we're starting. Boy. Sun, three of wands, strength. Well, that's a mixed bag. In this topic, this card can be both, and it feels like it can be both. Yay, children, helping children, a better day, and also racism. White, white supremacy. This is my card for white supremacy. I didn't have a card for white supremacy and still, until I started reading on these neo-fascists. Yay. Uh, this is the far right. They're not happy. But this is, this is the strength card quieting the monster here. But this is, this is what's happened to these poor people and the bad situation they've been in. So tell me more about this. Give me some... some um, uh give me some more a clarification on that isn't my isn't my name in the description box near the top like in the second paragraph or something I could cut and paste <laughs> i don't know if that helps but do i have french heritage uh eh, eh, eh. it's just a lovely name but it uh, actually traditionally uh it has two ends uh, T-I-E-N-N-E. -E. But at that point, we're talking 11 letters. It already has 10 letters. And you know, that's plenty. I don't need an 11th. So. Clarification. Reconciliation. All right, Elizabeth McDonough. Some clarification. Are you going to allow this to go through? really where I want to see it. Well, maybe, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Disappointment. I don't like the disappointment card. I don't like the refusal card either. Darn it. I don't like it. At the, in the middle, we've got a refusal of the Democratic offer. Republicans fighting for their narrow-minded, anyway, um, disappointment. But here's the thing. There is, not all of the cups have been knocked down. And there's temperance here. And temperance is not just flat out refusal, go, you know, go jump on a lake. There may be a way around. There may be something else they can, there may be another way they can do some stuff because the Democrats are, are trying to do this to get around the filibuster. But it's not looking, it's not looking positive, but it, this is not, there's something about this that isn't, done and dusted. 
Does that make sense? Let's see if I can get any more information. Yeah. yeah. Filling out the bubbles on forms in schools took forever, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a there's a whole there's a whole story behind my name, but I, I don't like talking about it. But I can tell when when people are um, kind of siding up to me, they're either avoiding my name or they're siding up to me and, and I don't actually know them because they shorten it to Seb. And that isn't actually how my name gets shortened for some reason. Anyway, come on, Elizabeth. I'm going to allow the immigration part to stand. Pamela says, it sounds like it's not in stone. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Oh, the Republicans may get their, their, may get what they want in the short term. And of course, leave poor, struggling, starving people out in the cold. But, um, High Priestess, Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Well, this is trying to use underhanded means, uh, things like parliamentarian uh, or um, Kind of workarounds to to avoid helping people. This is the far right, happy with their base. But I've got, I still have Democrats in the middle. I'd be happier if this was a king who would have his full power. But it's still the powerful right in the middle. So not all is lost, but we we may lose this battle, but we won't necessarily lose that war. If that makes sense. Uh, Holly says, in France, Seb is the usual short form of, um, well, yeah, like Sebastian Stan. People call him Seb, but I don't know why. Uh, my name just got shortened in two different ways, but it's not, not that. And I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's not a, not a huge secret, but I'm not going to tell you. People get extra credit if they, they actually use my name. But anyway, and if you pronounce it correctly, if you do the fake French accent and, and actually pronounce my name correctly, you get so many points with me. You get so many points. Anyway, Elizabeth, we're going to look through. I'm going to, I want three cards on Elizabeth Madonna. What kind of person are you and how do you feel about this and Getting, I'm, I'm getting a, a, an image of like marble lower hallways with things and books with dust. Yes, Pamela, I read on that just the other day. Hey, yeah, it's, it was. It might even, yeah, I think it was even in the title of the video. Uh, she feels like she, I, I think she feels like she doesn't have a choice but to knock this down. Um, yeah, I, it's, she, she is the stickler for the rules. That's kind of her job that's her thing so i'm not feeling great about this but i i doesn't feel like um um it it doesn't feel like this is the end of sorting immigration out 
by a long shot. So there's that. Okay. Um, 25. First thing I wanted to read on today, this is the question I brought, the main question I brought. My understanding is somebody is talking about running for president in 2024. 2024. Guess who? Your favorite, my favorite, Iceman. The man who wishes nothing more than to blow up any division between church and state. The man of no backbone. The man who, at those absolutely embarrassing, toxic uh, meetings with secretaries that Trump had, who was the most rear-end smooching person there? Mike Pence. Kevin's saying, oh, so you don't like Sebi Sugar Pumpkin? <laughs> I like that. No, it's not to like. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just tickled me. <clears throat> Chris Christie, oh nay nay, oh nay nay. With with the uh, the concept of first lady mother. So, Pence, you sniveling weasel. Fruits of labor, I've been vice president. Evangelicals love me. See, you know I believe that we, are, our souls are all pieces of the divine. And, um, Obvious and and I think it sounds goofy, but I do actually believe we have guides. I don't know why. I just do. It just it, it just seems like they're right there, trying to help out where they can. Um, I do think that it's possible to talk to spirits that have crossed over to a certain extent. Is it really them? Probably you know but if you believe that you are talking to Jesus and Jesus is talking to you and Jesus is telling you to become Donald Trump's vice president and spend the whole time trying to to placate him and not make him mad. I've got news. Linda says men calling their wives mother is a very old, old nickname. Oh, I know that. It's just creepy the way he does it. Because my underst I was raised Catholic and I'm here to tell you Yahshua of Nazareth, Jesus, actual Jesus of Nazareth, if you really say you're going to, he's your guy, he's your thing, you're going to base your life on him, you're going to get rid of all your weapons. Oh, by the way, the other day I misspoke when I said uh, Jesus would not, he'd, he'd have, you know, he would, uh, he doesn't believe in guns. Well, of course he didn't have guns back then. He, he doesn't believe in weapons. He doesn't believe in violence. So anyway, but he's just convinced I've got all, I've got everything I need. Eight of wands, nine of wands. Oh, and he's been through the he's been through the trials. Oh. 
Six of Wands, King of Cups. Hello, Pam. Ace of Pentacles. He actually might do a little bit better than I would expect. However, you can't get past this. And they will throw huge amounts of money at getting Republicans uh, voted in in 2024 because 2022 does not look good for Republicans taking back Congress. And so if they're still shut out, 2024 is going to be, they're going to throw money at 2024 like nobody's business. Um, and this is, this is your issue right here. It doesn't matter how, how much you've been through, how victorious you think you are in this far right thinking. We're in the, we're in a rise of democratic power right now. That will change eventually. It just does. It swings back and forth, but right now, so they're going to be mad and they're going to throw a ton of money at it. I'm surprised it, this isn't just shut down from the beginning, but no, he's actually, you know, low information voters are like, well, he was Trump's vice president. He didn't, he didn't, well, it's just the, the thing at the end with the insurrection, but I don't know, somehow this doesn't seem quite as, he's, he's not going to make it, but I, I, I thought this would be much more catastrophic for him, but Wheezy, Wheezy Squeeze Fuck, turn your swords into plowshares. Yep. Greta, King of Cups, Biden. That's it. Uh, Felisa, I love that. Uh, we are in the Aquarian age now. Yep. Greta says, how can it swing back and forth until the Republicans get rid of the far right? Well, there's a there's a really interesting book, which I, I found that, that I, I kind of see actually happening. There's a book called, I think it's called The Pendulum. Um, and it's how we, in a society, we swing back and forth between the far, uh, between what he called me and we. And I'll be talking about this later with the, um, the astrology of why Reagan was able to win in a landslide in 84, but right now, even facing some of the most heinous policies and, and whatnot, we're still in a deadlock. It's related. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, far right. Linda says, most people believe maybe Death Santis in 2024, but I believe 45 and Bannon have other ideas. I've been getting that Death Santis is going to have some troubles. I hate to say it, but I think Abbott might actually have more of a chance, which is not a guarantee at all. But All right. Um, yeah, this was the insurrection. He wasn't liked. And there are a lot of going to be a lot of investigations, insult to injury. All right. Well, he's, he's, it wasn't as catastrophic as I thought it would be. There will be some people who like him. He's not, it's not going to be, he's not going to be laughed out of the room like he should be. Um, but the, he can't get the base behind him because the base is angry with him. <laughs> Linda Bannon would love to be president. He, he would, but. <clears throat> Bannon is, he, I, I swear, he's like a human ashtray. He just, that's, that's the best way I can, um, describe him. They're not saying he's got some super major conflicts of interest with the company that makes Regeneron. Well, yeah, but when does conflicts of interest stopped any of those people on the far right? anyway okay um 35 oh it is about death santis 35 so uh desantis 
is saying that the former health department head cannot testify. Of course not. Of course. Death of Sentis. So, you're not going to let people testify, huh? Health department. Former health department head cannot testify. Really? I just feel like three cards. Okay. Former health secretary. Uh, the base of power, Trump base of power in Florida. My card for Mar-a-Lago, which is that that fascist base. Four of Pentacles, Devil, Temperance. Well, it's because he's trying to cover stuff up. But what what form does this Temperance? take so will this will this guy what man or woman i don't know who it is will um this former health department head testify it's a thief card Let's see what we've got Insult to injury. Evidence, that's that's evidence testifying. Giving um, this evidence and about in health care and um, also making some Democrats happy. I think this person's going to end up testifying. Wherever this person's supposed to be testifying, it feels like this, this person is going to be sharing their information. They're going to be giving evidence of some nature or some something something yeah here we go oh i don't know i don't know about that uh, linda but we could look at it um tomorrow or the day after just just throw it throw it in the chat i do want to take take your questions okay 38 oh this is just reminding of us reminding us of our failures Rhonda was asking, will America ever have a female forward presidential cabinet like New Zealand did? Uh, the patriarchy, alive and well in the United States of America. Well, the US, we have a Female forward cabinet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sandra. Oh, I've inspired you to do your nails. Thank you. That's very sweet. You you real no, just you realize I just keep mine short and they're plain. And these are temporary know that right the little these little double-sided stickery things i use and i reuse that that i use and then i reuse the nails so you know and all the, there's actually links to what i use in the description box so just i don't want anybody like just thinking they have to go all out on the chemicals and all this stuff no. anyway. thank you rhonda Thank you. Symbolic. Carrying those out. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the World. 
and eight of, sorry, seven of pentacles. Uh, but this is reminding me of what I've been reading recently, articles saying that the number of women going to university is very strong. The number of men going to university, it's declining. And as you have right now, we have immense inequality in income, in social standing, we can still be bullied, but things are gonna change. And it's fruits of labor are great, but when you have significantly more education, you can do more. You, you, you know more, you can rise higher. The reason we wanted, you know, we wanted women to be able to go to school so you, they could they could rise higher in society and support themselves better. And so, Dave, you do good. Oh, you can do. oh thank you, Dave. Thank you. All right. All right. So. We are at 41.30, at 41.30. Oh, yes. What will happen to the seditionists after today, White Dragon is asking? Um, because, uh, yeah, the big um, September 18th rally, huh? It's just terrible, isn't it? Shocking. Oh, 200 people. At least that's last I heard when I came on. If is something, has there been an influx of people? Has there been some great something, something? Guess what, during the planned insurrection bust. So the question is, what will happen to the seditionists after today's whole lot and not much? Uh, where's the crazy? Need to find the crazy. Said the tarot reader on YouTube, <laughs> who some people would automatically call crazy. That no, I'm not a seditionist, and I've had a lot of therapy in my life, and I have been assured by multiple professional <laughs> psychologists and psychiatrists that I am actually completely sane. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get your fix of conspiracy and step right up to the next conspiracy theory. Death card, the page of cups. We will overcome those. This is like a puppet show. It feels like a puppet show. Oh, we're big and bad. We're going to take that. We're going to take them down. Yeah, let's be afraid. White supremacists. Happy Democrats, temperance. This is just, this, this feels like a, um, first of all, that's just disgusting. That's just white supremacy grossness. And um, this feels like just a, 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 a play. It's like, it's like a puppet show where they're just telling themselves a story. This is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to be. Meanwhile, Democrats are kind of high-fiving each other, and there's temperance here, and it's like, hey, okay, things are okay, things are okay. Let's go, let's go have, let's go, let's go have a drink, and let's, you know, work some things out, or what are we going to work on next? And meanwhile, this is all scare the children, scare the children, but it doesn't feel serious. Punch and Judy, exactly. Yes. Wife beating is entertainment. <laughs> uh, Janelle Weisselberg. Oh, now this, this, I, this information I have been wanting to start collecting so we can create, I can, we, 
So I can create a, um, a calendar. Uh, Chili Autumn's puppetry left that. Thank you. Janelle is saying Weisselberg, because I f keep forgetting. Weisselberg. Weisselberg's next. Oh, uh, the September 20th. Uh, it's it's um, his next trial date. The thing is, though, it's only a um, kind of where are we? So uh, it's not the actual trial trial or we'll find out then when things are really going to move forward. It's just, it's basically just kind of a check-in is last I heard, Tom, please tell me if I'm wrong. And uh, Pamela, what is Punch and Judy? Uh, back in, well, in England, uh, back in the day, uh, they were these, it was a famous little puppet show. And they'd, in in the little town square, they would set up these these little stands, and um, there would be you'd have, you'd have two puppets and a guy down there, and he would just and he would tell the story, and and it would be Punch was the guy, and Judy was his wife, and there were sometimes some other characters who would come in, and they would entertain the children. And just this particular Punch Punch and Judy became very very popular, and eventually it even like had like a um there was even a like a humorous magazine kind of thing back in victorian era called i think it was called punch um but anyway that's that's what that is so okay so um, all right, so Marjorie Trader Green went somewhere. Thalma was asking, was she on her way to Rome yesterday? Pardon? I heard nothing about this. What's what's up with this? Um, let me see. In the news, what's up with Marjorie Taylor Greene? Even Steve Bannon looks skeptical about Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's latest claim. Her call to shut down the government. She calls to shut down the government. Is she not going to Rome? I don't see anything about that. I can read on her. Uh, Salma, but let me know if you, because I haven't seen anything about that. Has anybody seen anything about her going somewhere or going to Rome? But I, I'll read on Marjorie Trader Green. We'll just check in with her. Cat Cat has more information on Punch and Judy and excellent, excellent um, information on. Thank you. Started in Italy. Cat is a font of knowledge. Yeah. Um, Cat and Lanot are fonts of knowledge. Thelma says on PBS, Jonathan Capehart said last night, someone, and Thelma said someone said they saw her on a flight to Rome. Okay. Little chicken was in his endearment for Judy. <laughs> Do read the chat. Cat Shepherd has got the whole story, and it is wild and fabulous. Marjorie Trader Green. Are you ready to Italy? Really? Is she vaccinated? Because she wouldn't be able to get on a flight to Italy without being vaccinated. She wouldn't be able to land. Well, this is her. Um, insult to injury that's how she does and this is um wow 
walking away from reality and science and Leah says she'd have to do two weeks isolation. I'm I'm getting vaccination issues or yeah. Gary's saying Italy's really strict. Dave says, I have a joke about Bobert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and cinema walking into a restaurant that I know better than to tell here. <laughs> See, now that I find funny. Yes, thank you. Thank you for not telling jokes like that here. Thelma, so no. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh, she is just she's just rolling in that MAGA money. Oh, she's all happy. She is all happy she's rolling in that MAGA money. Oh, cause to stir the pot. Maybe she'll share with some of the other Republicans at the RNC if they treat her well. And she's the biggest bully around. Not much change there. Linda said she'd have to wear a mask on the plane, too. Oh, and she's supposed to be speaking at the rally today? Oh, okay. All righty. At 52. How did I not? Well, heck. Um, I How did I not put down the um, timing? to go back and look that up. Oh, well, uh, part of post-production. When I go back and clean things up, I'll have to go look up when that started. Okay, um, <clears throat> Terry McAuliffe, Democrat Terry McAuliffe, Virginia governor's race. Um, see here. They're locked in a tight race for Virginia governor. Um, millions pour into the Virginia race for governor. Bloomberg linked gun control group plans $1.8 million campaign to elect Terry McAuliffe and Democrats in Virginia, but millions pour into Virginia race for governor. Youngkin's wealth helps him outraise McAuliffe in the latest period. When is the um, when is the election? Terry McAuliffe in Virginia. He's a politician, but uh, I'm not getting the kind of, with some politicians, there's like a, a minimal amount of ick, I expect, in their energy, but. Yeah. Looking, looking, scrutiny, lots of scrutiny. The election is November 2nd this year. Thank you, Pamela. It's in a couple of weeks. Okay. Page of Swords, Death Card, Ten of Swords, High Priestess, Eight of Swords, What is going on in Virginia? Terry McAuliffe, are you going to win the Virginia governorship? And this isn't necessarily him, but I've got, well, if we have basic bullying, okay, fine, scrutiny. Death card, ten of swords in the back, secrets uh, hemmed in. What the heck is happening in Virginia?
All right, talk, talk to me about the Virginia governor's race. Virginia's gov Virginia governor's race. Underhanded, boy, there's some underhanded energy there. Institution, okay. That isn't the governor, that's the government in Virginia. Or just the government, just the institution, the part, bigger part of the, bigger part of the thing. Three of Pentacles, all right, making a plan. On the defensive because of far right policies, fair enough. Page of Swords, right wing message. Two of Pentacles is not great there. This is weird. This, these are the weakest cards. This is really odd. Is anybody else reading on this? So have you guys, and have you asked any of the other readers? Because what I'm getting is just weird. Explain, please. Um, meaning, uh, this is the plan. Okay, Republicans making a plan. Democrats are cups. This is just how the cards break down for me, personally. It differs reader to reader. But I get... Cups for Democrats, I get pentacles for Republicans, and I get wands for uh, the far right. Trump is the king of wands. His son is knight of wands, juniors knight of wands. Um, people who are politically wed to his way of thinking, people who are fascist, neo-fascist, uh, they're, they're, th that I get for queen of wands. Okay. Or Melania, but whatever. Actually, she's more like Queen of Pentacles because she's about them. But anyway, so Pentacles here, three of Pentacles. That's it's a plan. There's a plan. Okay, we want to win. Fair enough. On the defensive for these far right policies. Okay, far right things on the defensive. The message to far. This is the messenger. It's a far right message. Uh, very unsteady, very unstable. He's on, he's on one foot. He can barely stand. He's, he's, everything's kind of wibbly wobbly and including the water in the background and everything's unsettled and that's Republican energy being unsettled. Um, sometimes it can be unsettled by the water cups or what cups or is um, a water, got the water signs. So sometimes this can be, um, Democrats coming in and, and making the things um, get unstable for Republicans. But then we've got the three of wands here. This is waiting for your ship to come in. See their little ships in the distance? So on the far right, things they've done, things they've sent out, waiting to see what comes back. And that's the card. And the card for the reading is just the card of government. Not the governorship, just government. <laughs> so you're saying the Republicans are cheating? I don't know. I, I, I don't, not necessarily. I don't understand what I'm getting. It should be either in the end, the end of the cards, the cards are a way for me to get past my own biases because there's what I want to happen and then there's you know because good things happen sometimes to really rotten people who do not deserve it and you know, sometimes bad things happen and 
so I the cards are there to to I'm still reading on the energy. That's why sometimes I get readings that don't seem to have anything to do with the cards because the energy is so strong, but the energy is weird and the cards are confusing. Sean says, I asked the cards about the Virginia governorship and I got a female Democrat. Katie would like to know if she should have soup for lunch. That looks more like a sandwich. That that looks more like bread, like pita, but bread, symbolic of bread. Okay. Chris says, this is unusual for your reading. It is. All right, just a few more cards on Virginia, and then, I don't know, maybe we'll try again tomorrow. I don't know. Very odd. Notice Kate needs, if Kate needs soup, Kate needs soup, but make sure you have some bread with it. <laughs> the cards said bread, making the pita thing, anyway. Knight of Wands, all right. All right, I better make sure. I better make sure if I wasn't reading on bread. Actually, which reminds me, does any is anybody else here on my fitness pal? Because I'm I'm there under my first name, my real first name, which is in the description box. And I have a couple of people that I know from way back who I know on there and I get notifications and they're trying and fighting the good fight and so am I. So if you're fighting the good fight and you're on my fitness pal, look me up, please. And we will friend each other and uh, can encourage each other. Anyway. Virginia. Virginia governor's race. All right, forget what, what I just read on. Just... Virginia governor's race. November 2nd. What do we got? Page of Cups. Okay. So Democrat definitely has a, a real shot there. Wait, there's a fitness app? Oh, it's not fitness. No, no, no. My fitness pal is uh it's more it's the counting calories thing. Yeah, um I'm you can tell I'm not really into the exercising part. I, I, have a, I wear a pedometer. That's about it. Page of Wands. Not proud of that. Just that's how it is. Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, uh, Knight of Wands. So you'd think the right wing message and the people fighting for the right wing that great, they're going to go forward. But I've right in the center, I've got Ten of Swords. Some, I, I, I'm getting something's going to happen. The card for the reading is a very reasonable page of cards. All right, I give up. I give up. I'm getting weirdness. I'm getting serious weirdness. Oh, thank you. Wishing well, appreciate that. All right. Uh, Sean's saying you need to keep your strength. Yes. Enough to be able to lift your two kitties in their respective carriers. True. True. Um. C.C. Ryder said, I told one of the Virginia Democrat strategists they better shore up the independent vote. Very sensible. Robin says, sometimes the energy is weird. True. <laughs> Chris says, weirdness equals fancy cheating. <laughs> so anyway, but um, 105. Yeah, I, I will be, I will be, you know, 
struggling fighting my with my weight for the rest of my life. It's just it's just the only reason I am the size I am is because I keep fighting. <laughs> That's it. Um, so yeah, you can get a free account on my fitness pal. That's what it's called. And you can track your calories. And then you have friends and it'll say so and so, you know, came in, I finished their daily diary of food and came in under the limit. Yay. So and so, you know, hit their exercise goal, you know, so and so and you hit the little thumbs up and try to be supportive and If I said it could be because the powers that be want people to get out and vote. Oh, always. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, it's free and I'm over there uh, if you're interested. Okay, 106.30 is actually more what we're doing here. 106.30. The $17 million fraud lawsuit brought by Manchin's brother was dropped. Brought by Manchin's brother? Could that be tied to the EpiPen scandal involving Manchin, his wife, the Appalachian Regional Commission, and daughter, CEO of Mylan? Wow. We've, we've got some family drama going on. Okay. Dave says my neighbor has her own channel. She does yoga. Ooh. And her cane corso tries to stretch along. She complains that the dog upstages her. Well, boo boo. Bailey, Bailey Boo Boo's and Kitty. I mean, he just he's just like, hi. I'm here. I am all white. I am just magnificent. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Linda, this is a mucky question. Yes. Oh boy, good for you. Sandra, in a holding pattern, you haven't gained weight. Good for you, good for you. See, all right, so I'm, I'm happy to read on this and your questions are important to me. I, it's just reading on the Mansion family, it's just, So, $17 million lawsuit, huh? $17 million lawsuit. Julie says, whenever I do the downward dog and yoga, my cat gets right in my face. True. I just, I can't... Um, my wrists. I can't do downward dog and yoga anymore. It just makes my wrists hurt too much. Grover says, I'm within five pounds of my goal weight. Well done. Well done. Good for you. Okay. Vacation, retirement can be the good life, but let's see what the other cards have to say about the mansion family. All right, the suspension, Emperor. It, it was the, could it be that it, the lawsuit was dropped to not embarrass Mansion? Legal worry. Oh, that hurts. That smarts. Partnership, a deal. The lawsuit may have been dropped. He may, he may have walked away with a deal. That's what the guards are saying. He walked away with a deal, because they they didn't. It was suspended because they didn't want to embarrass the emperor, which would be a uh, mansion. Yeah, true, Rhonda. It almost seems like reading on the Adams family exactly. Eek. Uh, so does that answer? Does that help at all? I, I'm not sure, but that's that's what I'm getting about that $17 million lawsuit. So. 
Okay, <clears throat> at 110, Linda says, yeah, they don't want him to be Republican and have Moscow Mitch in power again. Uh, okay. All right, 110.30, Madison Cawthorn. What is the political future of Madison Cawthorn? That lovely human being. Madison Cawthorn. He's he's being rewarded for really bad behavior. He's getting popularity, money, and All right, Madison Cawthorn, what's your political future? I've read on this before, but it's good to check in again, see if the energy's changed. All right, government. Three of... Swords, strength, page of pentacles, six of cups, eight of swords. Um, he's, this is him. He's Republican. He's young. Um, but this is the Democrats, they're working together. They're the new, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The new generation of uh, uh, politicians coming up. And this is being hemmed in. Um, it does not, he it, it, it gets squeezed out. Um, He definitely wants a future in government. Fourth Pentacles. He I don't think he knows what he would do if he has to leave government. Um, it, it feels like a lot of effort, but it it's like um, it's like being on a bicycle, but being in like first gear. So you're you're putting in all the effort, all the effort, all the effort, but you're not actually progressing very far. But there's there's a whole lot of effort. Madison Cawthorn, so I'm going to hang around in politics. Four of Swords, quiet as a tomb. That's the lawmaking, but it's silence. Plans, temperance, King of Pentacles. He, he might even have to leave, <clears throat> leave for a while and come back later in life. So he'll be, he's making connections and um, it's almost like he'll, he'll leave. He wants to make money and then come back as a wealthier person. We haven't seen the last of him. I think the most important card there was the Hierophant. It was government. Oh, CAO backup says, my granddaughter just arrived, looked at you on my tablet, said you were pretty, 
and ha has nice hair and voice. You have a new eight-year-old fan. Oh, bless. Oh, big hug. Oh, squish. Oh, big hug. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. That was the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, 115, uh, 116. 116. Ruby was saying uh, that the terrible guy, we can guess who that is, continues to say the election was rigged. Showing support for insurrectionists. How soon are indictments going to be given to the fake 45? Uh, we keep looking at it. Um, and we're going to talk about the uh, some uh, something astrological that's going to be happening here over the next couple of months. But um, He's definitely he's continuing to foment all kinds of um, foment all kinds of trouble that he can. Sean says I'm vegan, but my most recent blood work says I'm malnourished. In what way? I've been vegan for. 18 years almost. Seven, yes, yeah, getting, we're getting up around 18 years. 17, there's certainly 17 years, and I'm not remotely malnourished. Uh, but I, you know, I, I've, I will do protein shakes and um, take them, you know, I take vitamins and. Um, Make sure I have a vegetable. <laughs> Every day at some point I stop and say, all right, have I actually had a vegetable today? <laughs> so, all right, but we're looking at indictments. It's coming. It is coming. I really do think that, that um, there are going to be some seized accounts, frozen accounts and seized uh, property. Matter of fact, was it was it Cash who was just reading on will the Trump properties be raided? He was getting a yes. I, I, I read on that a long time ago. Well, I'm vegan. I don't, I, I like being vegan, but I don't have a choice in the matter. I can't actually eat anything higher. I get, I get ill if I eat anything higher in the food chain. All right, four of True. Yeah, there's trouble. Oh yeah, they're, and they'll try fighting back, but no, there's just ten legal swords, just one after the other after the other, and big, big financial frozen accounts, things taken away. There's there's big trouble, and it's it, it's right there, but it's going to take some time still. Oh, I read an article about Georgia. You know how Trump tried to get Georgia to change her election? Well, the um, Fanny, what is her name? Um, F-A-N-I. And I just, it's terrible. I remember her name because that's not a name you want to have in the UK, or rather in England. But anyway, um, she's basically overwhelmed. She's got so, so much other work to do that the Trump thing has just not been the priority. It's like, really? Really? So. Okay. Uh, Frida Smith, don't give dogs, cats, children a vegan diet. I don't know about children, but definitely not cats. Do not, under any circumstances, try to give a cat a vegan diet. You can't get there from here. We do not have the technology or somebody hasn't pulled things together the way they should. You can't get there from here. Don't do it. Seriously, don't do it. 
Okay, 120.10. They're not even omnivores. They are carnivores. Okay, 120.30. Oh, memories of echoes, great, great handle. But um, babies in cages, will anyone be held accountable? Please. I'm just trying to just skirt the edge of this energy. Thank you, Pamela. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Will someone be held accountable? That's all we're... I'm just... This was Trump what was done. This is on display in cages, uh, destroying lives, legal matters, um, sitting pretty, not enough. Not enough people be held. Um, not enough people be held accountable. Dave says, I used to feed a food reluctant cat sardines with a fork because it was the only way she would eat. <sighs> Pumpkin, Alfie, dried food. Can't even be like a soft treat. No, dried, only dried, only. I've, we've, I, I, oh, we've tried everything. Sandy says the kids are safe, Autumn. They're okay. They're hurt. Kids are hurt. Knight of Wands, you pieces of blank. Who did this to children? Ten of Cups, Five of Swords, Hierophant. Seven of Swords. Not enough people are going to be held accountable. Take families, break them up. The government did it. There's thefts and deaths and stuff. I'm not getting... People absolutely should be held accountable. Scotia Sweetie says, I hope they can reunite more than with their parents. Yes, that's what I want to. And this is Miller's the big one. Dave says, Betty would eat sardines. Never met a cat that didn't like them. I tried. I'll try again. Seriously, I'll, I'll try again. I'll, I'll put it in my, my basket to, to, for the next order I get. I'll try again, but I've... Star, there is hope. There is hope for these, these poor kids overall. Emperor... Trumpetine judgment, these poor kids. 
It should be everyone from Trump down. One twenty five thirty. One twenty five thirty. Roger Stone. Roger Stone was served in the Capitol Police lawsuit. How will that go? Linda saying forty five will get his on the other side. It will when he leaves his vessel, his physical vessel. Um these precious physical vessel. Yeah, when he when he pops his pops his cork, um, his spirit, he's so low vibration. He's going he's going straight down into the into the dark. Into the compacted dark. He just is. Kevin says, I was gonna suggest free rage salmon. He won't touch it. Won't touch it. Not interested at all. Charles, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just, it's very, very hard. Very hard to read on that subject. Hey, so. One twenty seven. Uh, okay. Roger Stone, Roger Stone. Uh, so he has been served in the Capitol Police lawsuit. How will that go? Huh. Surprised they, they, they found him. They didn't put him back in Arkham Asylum. He must have a work release program from Arkham, Arkham Asylum. All right, Roger Stone. Ten of Cups. Three of Swords. Well, he's a he's a he's a, a lightning rod for grief, but he likes it. He likes the stress. He likes stirring the pot. He likes. I mean, he's he's been a professional dirty trickster and agitator for decades. And he was protected by, by Trump from the problems he had. He paid very little for what was going on. But in future, someone's going to win a whole... Is, is, is this a civil suit? Because this is him losing bigly. Bigly. That's... He's the, he's the right wing out in the cold. Capitol Police. All the people that they sue. They're being successful. Oh, was he served while on air? Yes, it's a civil suit. Thank you, Fire Sky. He was really... Sorry, I, it's a yes. Uh, hang on. Fire Sky says he was served while on his live radio show. Well, that had to be good for ratings. Well, Oswald, Co Oswald Cobblepot, things are not going to go so well for you. All right. Katie got my bread. Good. Um, okay, so I wanted to go over a couple of uh, astrological things that you might want to know, and I'll make this very as brief as humanly possible, okay? And not complicated. At the end of this, you should hopefully, well, you will not be sitting there saying, huh, I don't understand. No, this will be like, oh, okay. There was, I was telling you guys how, from our perspective, yesterday I was saying, from our perspective, 
It sometimes looks like some of the planets are going backwards, including Mercury. You've heard of Mercury retrograde? Mercury, you know, Mer Mercury's in Gatorade, some people say. Mercury going retrograde, it looks like it's going backwards. And communications, since Mercury rules communications, communication stuff goes kind of haywire for a while. Okay. Well, other other planets um, that, from our perspective, look like they're they're in retrograde as well. And there are a lot of them right now that are in retrograde. And in the middle of next month, uh, of like like four of them or something, are going to start. They're going to stop and start going forward again. What or from our, our perspective, what it looks like they're going uh, forward again. Um, and so all this energy associated with those planets is going to start moving forward. So in theory, thing, lots of things are going to start moving forward, including maybe some of this stuff against the Trumps. So I went and I looked at the astrology. Now, here's the thing. What's going to happen with the Trumps is that they're not going to go after Donald first. They're going to go after the kids first. Right? That's that they're they're starting with Weisselberg and they're working their way up that bottom feeding um, scum sucking food chain. So I was wondering in the middle of next month, I thought I would look at Trump. And you don't have to know a lot of um, you don't have to know a lot of astrology. I'm just going to I'm going to explain this the same way that I have explained this in the past, which is you do not need to know anything. You just need to not be colorblind. Literally, you have to be able to tell blue, what's blue and what's red. That's you can tell a lot. Just is it blue? Is it mostly blue? Is it mostly red? Is it a mix? OK, so here's the thing. Middle of October. I put two charts together. Basically, I put Donald Trump's chart and then I the the basically where the planets are when they start moving and all this kind of stuff. Are things going to be when this starts moving forward again? Is it going to be good for him? Is it going to give him good energy or is it going to give him more negative energy or harder energy grading kind of grading energy or a gentle energizing kind of energy? OK, red is that grating or seesaw energy blue is that kind of refreshing or that energizing energy right that's all you have to know so in the middle of next month i just picked october 18th just randomly so look at this forget everything at the bottom i'll put this right here and just look right here these lines red or blue looks kind of like a mixed bag yeah so even though there's going to be some red whoops which way, which way am i going here it's hard to do this backwards even though that you've got you know red here and red really stronger red there and you've got some serious red here and a little bit there there's also a lot of blue there's there's quite a bit of blue there so that would be more supportive so even though there'll be some bad stuff, there's also some there's also some good stuff there. So it's like, huh? Well, that doesn't look too bad. Hmm. So I thought, well, they're going to go after the kids first anyway, and what have you. Curious. So I fast forwarded to Thanksgiving. You Thanksgiving in the U.S. is on November twenty fifth this year. Okay. So I fast forwarded to. Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving for Donald Trump going to look like? What is the energy going to be for him? Just regular old transits. Okay. There's almost no blue. It just, it just, the only aspects, they just go red. Grading energy, seesaw energy, just the blue just fades away. So this is Thanksgiving for Donald Trump. I haven't looked at the other the other kids. Or sorry, but this is this is what I got for Donald. I haven't looked at the kids, but this is what I got for Donald Trump for Thanksgiving Day. 
and without knowing anything else, you don't have to know what, what's blue. Is there more blue or more red? That's ugly. That is ugly for Donald Trump. All right, so I wanted to make sure that I uh, showed you that. Okay. Um, all right, so that's Trump. Very simple. And actually, I should have written down the time on that too. 136, let me make sure. Just make a note of the time here, at least. So um, we were talking yesterday about um, Reagan and how in 1984, Reagan had a total blowout where uh, he won every he went he electorally won every state except um minnesota who i believe Mon, where mondale was from and washington dc other than that reagan won every state and it's like wow that's that's a thing that's a big thing and you would think with these heinous policies we've been dealing with and even that that now where the sides are so polarized and there's such a clear demarcation between the two sides, why are we stuck in such gridlock? You would think it would be a much easier thing to say, look, I fall on this side or I fall on that side. And there are, we already know there are a lot more Democrats. So how to look. And I'm going to make this as simple as possible. It's slightly more complicated than what I just said, but not by much. Okay. Um, 1984 presidential election. I think it comes down to Pluto. It's usually the outer planets have the big... Um, have the big deal. All right, you're gonna have to ignore a lot of this because I'm I made a mess with the, the paper. But I'll just take blue highlighter. Let me take my blue highlighter, okay? Because this thing's a mess. I'm just gonna highlight exactly, exactly what you what I'm talking about here, okay? There was Pluto in the sky, and then there was um, Jupiter and Venus in the chart for the US. And then Uranus was exactly on the ascendant. Okay, so 1984, Pluto's power, right? Pluto was transiting and it was in this lovely 120 degree aspect to the US's Jupiter, which is luck, expansion, optimism, the negative side of Jupiter can sometimes promise more than it can deliver, but it's it's it was traditionally known as the it was traditionally known as the great benefic. Um, it would it's positive, and and in our in the U.S. chart we've got Jupiter and Venus in the same spot. The lesser benef benefic and the greater benefic, and they're together. So it's a good it's a good place in our chart, and we had Pluto transiting in the sky which is all about power. And it was in this lovely 120 degree aspect to this in the US chart. Good. At that precise moment, we also had, it's hard, it's hard to see, I know, I'm sorry. Uranus, the, the, the planet that spins on its side, that rules uh, Aquarius, um, the rebel, the rebel planet, the individualist, the uh, revolutionary, the stand on my own feet, it's also a humanitarian, it rules Aquarius, which is humanitarianism, but um, and there, there can be a slightly impersonal aspect to Aquarius at times, but um, very much of, I did it my way, you know, stand on my own feet, freedom, uh, you know, <clears throat> the ascendant, <clears throat> the ascendant is how we, we um, present ourselves. how we present ourselves to the world. <clears throat> and we were presenting ourselves to the world that day as 
with Uranus right on that ascendant, transiting Uranus right on that ascendant. We stand on our own feet, right? It this this freedom loving individualism, rugged individualism kind of um, information with with power, with luck, and all of this. So there there were um, we were deep in. We talk, I talk about that pendulum swinging back um, between the me eras and the we eras um, where we work together and we think of each other or we get back into the me era, which is the rugged individual. I stand, I do it myself. Um, can also be greed is good. Um, that sort of thing. That's what was going on then. So when Reagan came in, he had various positive aspects going on, but that's what was going on in the sky on election day in 1984, okay? Now, but what's happening now, this, because, and I showed you this, because this is the US, this is a chart for the US in the center here. But instead of being up here, Pluto in the sky is now down here, which is where Pluto is in the US chart. So it's conjunct. And Pluto rules Scorpio. Pluto is Plut rules plutonium. It is very intense. It is the fixed water sign, the fixed emotional sign. Is it? That's what Scorpio is. Ruled by Pluto, god of the underworld. Uh, if it is the most, Scorpio is the most intense sign. And uh, great detectives, because going definitely fixed and and going wanting to look under the rocks and find out what's really going on and it's death and taxes and and it's um that edge between life and death and um the phoenix where you you die so that you can be reborn and it's this really powerful energy well what happens when something comes around and lands where it was in in your chart when the sun comes around once a year and lands on the sun in your chart, it's your birthday. And your sun is your sense of self. And so what is your birthday about? It's a celebration of me. It's me, me, me. It's like extra me. Let's have extra me today because it's my birthday, right? Well, when Pluto comes, we don't have to deal with it personally. Pluto takes 248 years to go around the sun. We don't live to be 248 but countries do. Pluto comes back around to where it is in the chart. What does it do? Extra Pluto. Extra, extra Pluto. Fixed power, plutonium. What are we gonna do? Are we going to build bombs? Are we going to warm the toes of kitties and warm cocoa for grandmothers in lovely power stations that could still do immense you know, it's this, it's this incredibly fixed energy and emotional um, intensity. That's what we're going through right now. Okay. With that happening, you don't get this lovely, oh, lovely Pluto energizing this lucky, expansive, optimistic part of our chart. Pluto down here, it ain't doing nothing <laughs> to that lovely spot. So that's why we are stuck in this, this gridlock. Um, whereas then we were able to do other things. So when will this change? And that was the question I was getting. Um, well, here's there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is this too shall pass. Uh, Katie saying, wait, is the US 248? Uh, almost. Almost. And it's not exactly 248, but it's close. Um, as far as what Pluto does. Uh, in uh, we're 2021 and 2026, so in five years, 
we're going to, um, the U.S. turns 250. So, and, and Pluto's weird in that it doesn't stay in the same signs and the same, it goes all the way around, but it's, it's an elliptical orbit. And anyway, the point is, um, yeah, there's also retrograde. So it's actually going to Pluto's going, it's not quite there yet. It isn't quite in the same place as this, as, as the Pluto in the U S chart yet. It's so it's coming up to it and it's going to hit it. So it'll be most intense then, and then it'll go on. But then from our perspective, it will look like it's going backwards. So it's going to retrograde back over Pluto and then go over it again. And as I've explained uh, ad nauseum, uh, planets going retrograde, it's like when you're trying to leave your house and you you open the, you, you know, you grab your stuff, you open the door, you go, go out and you go, oh, wait a second. Did, and you take a few steps back and you're like, did I get my keys? Yeah, do I have my keys? Did I leave water for the cat? Did I get those papers? Did I get the, okay, I got the papers. I did that. Okay, now I can move on. That's retrograde. And whatever the um, whatever the planet is, that's the kind of energy, the, the areas of life we're talking about. So, yes, Linda's saying, when? 2023. 2023 is going to be a whew, kind of year. All right. Um, for example, I pulled up the midterm charts. for 2022 and Pluto here we go Pluto's right here Pluto blue is in the chart the red is in transit this is at 26 degrees that's at 27 degrees so it's not even quite there it's close during the midterm elections but this and this energy is is you know getting pretty powerful but it's not quite there yet all right However, election day in 2024, do I have the right one? I wrote, I wrote on this one too much too, but the upshot is in this one, Pluto, in the sky will be at 2029. Of course, our the planet, the Pluto for the US is still gonna be at 27, because that's it always is. But Pluto in the sky will already be at 29, it'll be 929 degrees, it'll be past that. So the the effect will be waning. It's like with the moon, it, it's when a planet's coming up, it's it, the energy is waxing, and when it after it the, the conjunction, the energy wanes. So 2022, we're still fight, coming up to this 2024. It's mostly beyond. So for when exactly it's going to happen, I, I wasted some paper and ink. And I pulled up ye old, and this last thing I'll, I'll bore you with. Um, I pulled uh, I pulled up ye old ephemera, ephemerises, ephemerae. Basically, it's a list of where the, the planets are on different dates. So, and you get, you get, you know, one month per page kind of thing. And I, I looked at this all the way through. So, I did want to, I did highlight, I had, some, I had some things in here about when, when things are going to go direct. Uh, soon, but after a certain point here, Pluto will, unless I'm mistaken here, just double checking, Pluto will be conjunct. Pluto in the chart, Pluto in the sky and Pluto in the U.S. chart will be in the exact same spot for the first time ever. Actually, 
February 2022. Okay, and you're saying, but you said 2023. Oh, we're not done yet. February 20th, right around February 20th, because this tends to be um, GMT, and I'm not going to try to do the math. Basically, 20th, 2022, Pluto's going to be... The, the conjunction is going to be exact. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. So then you're like, well, don't have to worry about it anymore. In April, end of April, because it gets to 2028 and then it goes retrograde. So it starts moving backwards. It keeps going backwards, going backwards, going backwards. It comes back and hits the US uh, Pluto on July 12th. 2022. Keeps going, keeps going. Still in retrograde. Goes direct. Later in the year. Hits Pluto again. Actually, this I thought it was 2023. I, I stand corrected. It is all in 2022. Going forward again, it, it, it is conjunct the U.S. Uh, Pluto again on December 28th of 2022. And uh, I know why I was saying 2023. Okay, and you think, great, okay, then it's over, right? It's great, we're done. All right, we made it through. Yes. Um, and then in March, 2023, uh, Friday, the 24th, um, Pluto's going to change signs and it's going to go into Aquarius. So, yeah, we've talked at length about when Pluto changes signs. So, 2023, yeah. So 2022, 2023, just letting you, um, letting you know. Pamela says, whenever autumn begins astrology, I watch it three times and thankful there are no tests. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. So, um, that, that was it. I hope I didn't lose too many of you. <laughs> So anyway, but we're going to make it through because we made it through all of the, we made it through the Trump years. Come on, pat yourself on the back. You made it through the Trump years. This is good stuff. All right. So uh, hang in there. All right. This too shall pass. We will get through it. We'll get through it together. There are good days ahead. There are. That also for, forewarned is forearmed. So, all right. That's going to do it for me for today. I will be back tomorrow. It's 2.07 here in Chicago. Uh, at 4 o'clock, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel, as usual, working on um, working on my creative stuff. Uh, a, a, a prequel, a short story uh, that is going to be a giveaway, free giveaway if you sign up for the newsletter. And it's a prequel to the novel that's coming out December 4th. Um, so, okay, but there, uh, thank you, Thelma, thank you. Uh, and Linda says, so April 2023, we can calm down. We can, well, it prob, prob, probably. Um, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Uh, when Pluto changes signs, big things tend to happen, and it takes a while for that to play out. But then after that, hopefully things will things will be quieter. Anyway, hang in there. Um, Pamela says, "I love when you do astrology. Please don't change that. It's not you. It's all me. I want to get off." Well, I I hope it was clear enough. 
Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for everything. All right. And I will see you all either two hours over on Book Art Media or I will see you right back here tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.